blessings on 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 blessings I'm Apostle T. Blessings on blessings on blessings. I'm Lady T, y'all. It's Tuesday. Yes, it it's is. It's Tuesday night Bible study. This is the last Tuesday of 2021. What? God is doing great things. He's preparing yes. us. He is preparing us for greater. Yes, He's is. preparing us for better. I've got to say as an affirmation that yes. I shall not die. I, shall not. I will live and I will proclaim. I will proclaim continually the works of my father. He is good. Yes. And, and God is good all the time and all the time is good. Let's pray. I'm jumping into while I'm praying, please feel free to share tonight. You want to get your family friends in the house. I'm telling you, I feel a great one tonight. Mm. Lady T. Father, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for this time of sharing again, Lord. Thank you for the opportunities that you have given and provided to speak into the hearing of your people. Lord, I know, I know that this is the time of their greatest blessing. Lord, I thank you so much for being mindful of us continually. You are always, 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 mm. always mindful of us. Thank and you, destiny is available in this season and we will walk in it Lord. and your revelation will guide us. Your mm. word is a lamp unto yes, us. Yes, thank you. Lord, Jesus. and I thank you for that lamp leading us into our wealthy place. Tonight, tonight is another piece of your puzzle, Lord, and we thank you for uh, your, your using us at this time to speak your word. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. amen and amen share 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 and share and share again we're talking tonight uh, uh about man how my eyes are uh opening this is a time of eye opening these these are eye opening times in the lord i want to say this right at the top of this teaching i want you to be very mindful of this you are entering into a zone or a timing or a period in God where there are some things that you were never able to see before. The Lord is opening your eyes to this. And it's only because it's the time of grace that allows mm -hmm. you to walk into destiny. This is destiny season. This is destiny season. I got to be very mindful of this because I've got to agree with God mm -hmm. that this season will be the season that the things that he promised me will in fact, in fact, come to pass and nothing will stop me mm -hmm. and nothing will stop me. Mm -hmm. Lady, nothing will stop the people of God in this season. There's no forces that is great enough to stop the people of God in this season. Now you got to press in because kingdom suffer it violence and the violent must take it as the scriptures say by force. Mm -hmm. There's some things that we got to take. And we can't take until we come into the place of authority. Hmm. I can't take what I'm not in authority in my understanding. I have to have the understanding to come into authority. There's a lot of things that we have applied as believers that was not in alignment with scripture. And that's why eyes are being opened now because this is the season of the, the, the wealth of God, mm -hmm. the, the intent of God coming into the life of believers. And so we got to know, we got to know it. Now, a lot of what is going to happen in the life of believers is going to be shocking because you live your life uh, based out of uh, certain teachings and things that you were taught and they did not really have any kingdom value. They had a lot of church value. Mm. And I'm, I'm laying foundation because you got to understand this because I don't need you to prolong and you shouldn't desire to be prolonged in a, in a, in a cycle. Mm -hmm. And the enemy sending you good things to do, but there none of those things are in alignment with what God has on his heart for you. I'm done with that. I'm done with doing good stuff. I'm done. I'm done with doing good stuff and not actually doing God destiny stuff. Okay. okay? So yes. we are aware of that. We are in this season that we are aware. Let's move into the word of the Lord. We are in this season. Uh, uh, then Christmas is the time that we uh, celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, a very interesting time, especially I believe this 2021 year. I believe that this year, hear me very closely and hear me in the spirit. This is the end of an era. 
-hmm. I've been saying it. I'm going to say it again. An end of an era. Mm -hmm. An end of an era. So this means that there are new opportunities because of the grace that comes with a new era. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 43, 19, you quoted it before and you quoted it several times. And I want to I speak it into your hearing. It says, behold, I do a new thing. Mm -hmm. Shall ye not know it? know it? Now, that's interesting the way it's constructed in the text. He says, I'm doing the new, but there are people that won't even know that it's, it's, it's available mm -hmm. because they'll be so caught up into doing what they always done. Wow. So one of the things that you can uh, determine if it's new or not, mm -hmm. if you already know how to do it, it ain't new. <laughs> If you already know how, it ain't new. Because new stuff takes some time to get acclimated. Amen. Stuff. Even if you got a new car, you got some buttons, some amenities that you don't know how to do. Yeah, you can drive. Yeah, you know how to push the pump brakes. But there are other features that you have no idea. You got to get acclimated to it. So it is in the spirit realm. There are things that are new and you have no idea how to do it. Your worst your worst posture, the worst posture that you can actually take in this season is to try to take what you think you already know and forge it into this new experience. It's not going to work for you. Now, we're going to Isaiah chapter 9, verse number 6 and 7. This is uh, Isaiah prophetic word concerning the Savior, concerning the, the eye opener. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 please hear this. Please hear this. There's so much... I want to say, and there's so many scriptures that I can't not get to at this immediate moment, mm -hmm. but I want you to go with me. I want you to write this down. Do yourself a favor. Do owe yourself this. Uh, 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 you are going to go back to the scripture, the script that paints the picture. You're going to go back and look again because when you look again, the Lord is going to give grace for you to see what you never saw. Come on. Look at it once again. Isaiah chapter 9, we are in what we call the, the Christmas season or the, the commemoration of the birthing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Isaiah is prophesying about the coming Savior. Isaiah is prophesying about to come and say, I'm going to do this ninth chapter of Isaiah. I want to unpack some things there later to you. Then I'm going to go from there and let's see what the Spirit of the Lord says. But this is going to be very important. Now, I've read this before and I've read this recently. I need you to see it again and again and again and again and again. Now, let's go. Isaiah 9, verse number 6 and 7. Again, go with me in the scripture so that you know I did not have... Uh, the time to put everything up in here so I'm just going to have to trust that they're going to go with us later. Mm -hmm. Verse number 6, Isaiah chapter number 9. Blessings to all of you that are coming in. We will acknowledge you in the end. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Now here's what it says. For unto us, yes. for unto us, for unto us a child is born. For unto us a child is born born for unto us a child is born now look at the text because it's important i hope you're looking at it on your phone or on your on your uh uh ipads or scripture i need you to be there for unto us a child is born mm -hmm. unto us a son is given yes and the government shall be upon his shoulders and the government shall be up on his shoulders this is important and the government shall be upon his shoulders. I'm going to unpack that because there's confusion there. Come on. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this, lady. And his name shall be called Wonderful, mm -hmm. Counselor, yes. the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The mm -hmm. Prince of Peace. Now the seventh verse says, Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no yeah. ending. There's no ending to his government and peace. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it. To order it. Now, I need to unpack this sixth verse because again, please be uh, 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 conscious that it says a child is born. That's what we commemorated. The birthing of a child mm -hmm. into the world. A physical form. Uh, 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 him being in authority in earth because you cannot be uh, 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 in authority in the earth unless you have a body and a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Now I say birth certificate for our particular time. But it says unto us a child is born, uh, unto us a son is given. Now mm -hmm. a son cannot be given because in this particular case, the son is the second in the Godhead. Come on. 
he is from eternity past. He's already in position. Mm -hmm. So he can't be born. He can only be given. given. A child is the gift of God uh, when God decided to take on human form. Mm. So he had to be birthed through the channels that every man is birthed through because his mission was to redeem every man that was lost. Wow. So now we're in the season that commemorates the birthing of a savior of the one that is qualified to bring us in. That is important for us to know as we move forward. And the scripture says, and the government, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now, let's make this very clear. The government referred to here is not a secular government. It's not the United States of America government. It's not the government of France. It's not the government of Russia. It's not the government of, of, of any nation physical is the government of heaven that he carries the weight of heaven the authority of heaven is what he carries he brought the authority of heaven into earth form mm -hmm. so that he could teach us how to live like that My that's goodness. what it said he's teaching us how to live like that how to be in position of authority in the earth so unto us a child is born mm -hmm unto us a son's given this child is god coming in the flesh the messiah happened coming from and the government and the government again the government again the government again is not the united states of america okay it's not the secular government it's the government of heaven hmm. the kingdom rule now watch this it's important that i understand and be able to distinguish between the secular government and the government of heaven mm -hmm. because the text said seven verse of the increase of the increase of his government and mm -hmm. peace mm -hmm. there shall be no end if i am affected by deficiencies because of the decisions of secular government it is a blatant sign that i'm not living uh, by the government that's on his shoulder wow because the government that's on his shoulder it says of the increase of that government and the peace the peace the peace the peace and the increase of his government there shall be as the no sex end. said no end there's no end to it so that should give me faith that should give me confidence. That should give me boldness to know that if he done what he done, and in fact he did because scripture said it, yes. then I'm good. Now my eyes need to come open mm -hmm. to who I am and what I have available to me. And I want to show and share of the increase of his government. Now this text says that his government is increasing. Mm -hmm. It's not falling. See, in the secular government, times get worse times get harder in kingdom government increase in what peace yeah peace peace prosperity peace prosperity that's how you know you're living in the right one when the when the projections of the secular government is that there's limitation in life the government of heaven says there's increase increase there's, increase. there's mm -hmm. an abundance of increase there's an abundance of increase there is an abundance of increase my eyes will be open this season of my life to the abundant increase and i got to accept it and i got to align with it and i can only do it when i come into revelation coming into revelation allows me to see this and i'm excited about it of his government mm -hmm. of his government yeah. now the bible is interesting to me because there are ways that things are written in context and i got to apply the way it's written mm -hmm. now when it says of his government at the time of the advent of him, there was other governments. Okay. This is the, 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 the ruler of the heavenly government. And it says of his government, the ruler of the heavenly government. A, watch this, lady. A system of thoughts, ideas, and operations. Okay. A system of thoughts, ideas, and operations. A system of thoughts, ideas, and and operation are y'all here gotcha. a system his government is a system of thoughts ideas and operations now it says his government declaring that there is a government he's trying to give and there's a government that's already in existence that is trying to defy it 
Hmm. There's a government that he's trying to get us to live in, uh -huh. and there is a government that is, watch this now, defying. There's, you're fighting every day from the thoughts, the ideas, and operations of a government system that you are in the middle of, but God is trying to get you to see that you are in this world, mm -hmm. but you are not of this world this government is not the governing factor for your life and you can only live outside of it governance when you get revelation hmm. you got revelation i got revelation that this is not my end this is not my 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 my, my demise this is me living in something hmm. that 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 i am much greater than and i got to get revelation to understand i carry power yes sir i got power I got power. Now, so this is God's greatest, greatest desire in this season is that his people, his people, his people, his people. Somebody just prophesied we are on course and we are closer than Thank we you. think. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Now, I got to get this into you. So there is another system because he said, the scripture says of his government. So mm -hmm. there is another government that is buying for our attention, for our thoughts, for our operations, mm -hmm. for how we deal with things. It, it, it desires and, and we got to be very careful our eyes are coming open we are challenged or being challenged to see again what we thought we already saw my god hear me now this is not a religious there's too many religious mindsets that's taking over people and it's not and thank you so much for it thank you so much for being religious but that's not what god is asking for that is just as dangerous as, as you call the people out, they they in the world. You are just as dangerous because that system, even though it's uh, 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 latent with uh, uh, the enemy's ideas, is more acceptable than just people that's out there. Hmm. Now, I got to break this down because this is so important. We are ending an era, walking into a new era, walking into a new time, a new paradigm. So we got to be challenged. We have to challenge ourselves to think again. Our eyes are coming open so there is another system that opposes the system of god you are in the fight of your life trying to determine whether i believe god by faith uh -huh. things i don't see or whether i'm going to be taken by the system that shows me everything my god the enemy is showing me he's got the evidence of of things when god says what i need you to do is by faith yes see what i'm trying to show you you won't have <laughs> evidence you just got to operate out of faith your next move in 2022 you won't have an inkling of an idea of what it is or how it's going to but god is going to say move now Wow. Move now. And when you move, you're going to move because of heaven's government that say of the increase. That's increase. There's increase. That increase. So of his government, it says that there is another government that is fighting against that government. You are right in the middle. We are right in the middle. We are right in the middle of it. Now, Paul says it like this. Now, this is interesting because I got to get you to see that this thing is real. We're in a spiritual moment and the enemy is, has gotten our eyes closed. And we don't even know it. And so now deception rules because what he gives is so much like what God has promised. Hmm. It's called the acceptable substitutions. And many are living there right now because the eyes are not open. It's because we don't have enough spiritual. Uh, the only way that eyes are open is when communion happens. Mm -hmm. Communion happens in the scripture, then eyes are open. We are not in communion because we are busy doing what we think is the thing that God desired. It's the acceptable substitution that caused us to be asleep. Mm. Seeds are being planted into our garden when we intended good seeds to be planted. The, the, the text says an enemy planted mm, while men in. were asleep. Yes. Eyes are closed. Now yes. my eyes are becoming open and I got to see there's two governments that's buying for my attention. There's the sacred government of kingdom of the kingdom of heaven that's got increase and there's this kingdom of this world that is trying to pull us into it and it's a, it's a, it's a kingdom of, of not enough. Mm. And believers can live there. Paul says this in, in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, verse number 3. Now listen to what Paul says. Listen to what Paul says. Paul says, if this gospel mm -hmm. is hidden, hidden, it is hidden from them that are lost, mm -hmm. whom the gods of this world have blinded or closed the eyes. So this is evident evidence that there are two systems that are buying for your time mm -hmm. there's the god of this world 
the who who's got plenty of enticing things and will i just preached on sunday that many that are segueing into their next level in god is going to go through a season of temptation my god and if you don't understand what temptation is you'll listen to the old people or the, not the old people but the old uh people that don't understand tell you that temptation is a sin or you're in a sinful place mm -hmm. what the bible says very clearly luke chapter 4 verse 1 jesus being full, full? of the holy spirit come of the on, holy ghost come on. wherever you're from uh was led into the wilderness uh, uh, there being tempted yes. of the devil 40 days, right? Mm. So it doesn't matter about you being filled with the spirit. This is a time of temptation. Now the tool of temptation is here given us to prioritize the thing that mean the most because the enemy going to bring things that you desire in this season. Yes. He's going to bring things that will distract you because they look so good, but you got to stay focused. I believe that temptations are the tools used to make you prioritize what you really want. Will you go for what God said or will you go for the acceptable substitution? We all have to go. And when Jesus had been fully tempted, mm -hmm. the, the 13th verse says, and when Satan had ended his temptations, then he left him for a season. Mm -hmm. That's what we are going after now, that seasons begin after you have endured the temptations, but you cannot endure the temptations until you have revelation. Wow. That's what Jesus had. Every time the enemy would push a temptation, what happened? Jesus comes out with a revelation. Hmm. It is written. It is written. No wonder the enemy fights against us going into the scripture wow. because we get revelation and it causes us to be able to stand in the time of temptation. I need somebody to hear me tonight. So let's move. That's two governments, Lady T. Mm -hmm. There is the government of the kingdom, mm -hmm. and I'm going somewhere with this because this is crucial for you to understand. Many are listening right now. You got to be very careful in this season. Good work is not what we are going for. Hmm. We are going for the God work, yes, the sir. destiny work, the distinct destiny yes, call that's yes. on our life will require some discipline actions on your behalf. While you're hearing everybody tell you grace is the key to you doing whatever you want to do without having to uh, 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 live up to the, 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 the life of God, then mm -hmm. I need you to know this, that this is important that you see because we are in that time, we're in that season yes. that, 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 that the enemy is coming after us. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's coming for you. Listen to me once again. I'm going to tell you, he's coming for you. He's getting ready. He's coming for for you and I need you to know you got to be ready to stand in this season of temptation in this season of temptation now if we have some technical difficulty I don't know if we haven't my camera is blinking red I don't know if it's saying that we're having technical difficulties we're gonna run until it runs out or until late T go can you see if it, it seems no, it seems like it, it, it's blinking I need to get this revelation out I need to get this revelation out uh, 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 Make sure it's just plugged in. I don't want this to shut down on us. Now, 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 please, please, please hear me because this is important. Now, uh, the increase. Now, we should be living in a season that is called an increase season. An increase season. We should be living in the season of increase. The Lord wants me to be increased in this season. But I got to pay attention. I've got to pay attention because I can't miss this moment when this grace is available. So there's a God of this world whom have blinded the minds of the people. And he's, I mean, we are all got to be, we all got to be aware that this is the time that we have to stand up in God like we've never stood up in him before. Now, Paul says again, now watch this. I wanna, I wanna make this difference of the kingdom of God and, and the systems of this world. The kingdom of God, thank you so much, and the, and, 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 and the systems of this world and the systems of this world now let me break this down now there's something in the book of daniel uh chapter 10 uh, a very interesting state uh, uh time and i'm paraphrasing if you guys will please go and read this i got so much to lay out that i'm going very quickly through this text and so so there's a god of this world that is defying the kingdom of god now the bible says that the government shall be on Jesus shall the government of heaven mm -hmm. uh, there was much confusion in the throughout the duration of Jesus ministry from the, the, the disciples and all of the Pharisees of when he would go in 
to Pharaoh and take him out of office. Okay. And he says, I'm not interested in taking Pharaoh. Now, this should be a, 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 a mighty word to all of us. He says, I'm not interested in taking out Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. I'm not concerned about secular government. Hmm. If I can get the people to see that there is a kingdom government that is full of increase and peace, then they won't worry about secular because you're not governed by secular government. Right? right. And so they say, when will you cause the king, if you indeed that would take out Caesar cause Caesar king. What they're saying is we only see things in secular terms hmm. as we have as believers see only things in secular terms. And so he says, I'm not, I'm not worried about Caesar. He, he says, bring me a penny. We yeah. brought him a penny. That's right. It says whose inscription and image are, is on the penny. They said, Caesar. They say, well, don't, uh, uh, he says, render unto Caesar what is Caesar. I'm not tripping on him. But what I need you to do is stay focused or get focused on this kingdom government mm -hmm. I'm trying to give. And once you get focused there, you will no longer be focused on because focus creates blindness. Yes. When I become so focused on kingdom agenda, I will become blind to all of the secular agendas. Mm. The thing that keeps buying for your attention, the thing that keeps distracting you, the thing that keeps you offline, the thing that constantly comes every time you're about to reach and touch, it, it pulls your attention. That's why I say this is a season of temptation. You can never be tempted by something you don't desire. That's right. So that's why the enemy sends you through the season of temptation to pull you away from what God has laid in front of you in a, in a season of grace to touch. So of his kingdom and, and in a uh, government, there, there is no end. Mm -hmm. they this is a constant flow. This is a constant uptick. This is constantly God saying to the people that he chose for this season, I want to bless you. Yes. Let's a amen that, amen that if you will. Let's agree. Say, say write this in. God desires to bless me. God desires to bless me. That's your amen. I can't hear you, but you, you can write that in. God desires to bless me. Write that in as an amen. God desires to bless me. God desires to bless me. That's what God's intent for you. That's why you're here because God desires. But it comes with revelation and understanding. Mm -hmm. The more revelation and understanding. Now, I said and I taught and I've been diligent about uh, dissecting or making the difference between kingdoms. Okay. Because the enemy is going to declare to you that it doesn't matter. As long as good is coming, it's all good. No, what you want is the 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 the, the empowerment of a supernatural God on your side. Not just good things, but the empowerment. That only happens that only happens when I align with him, but I got to first understand there is a difference. Most people have been taught through doctrines out of the difference. Hmm. That is just whatever. We don't live by faith any longer. We live by fate. We don't live by F by F A I T H. We live by F A T E. Yeah. That's the gist of notice that. We don't live by faith. We live by faith. What's gonna happen is automatically gonna happen. That's not true. Yes, come on. That's not true. That happens in the secular government, but in the kingdom, it's very intentional. Yeah. Everything that happens to me in, king in the kingdom is intentional. I have prepared myself for the exchange. Mm. If I don't prepare myself, now God is a merciful God. He's, he's going to allow you to see some things, but what you are seeing, want, desiring is to see the realness of the Lord. Yes. So now he sends his son. That's what we just celebrated, the season of his birth. His birthday, as many call it. And the Lord says, this has... Uh, have been has was planned in me forever. Mm -hmm. This child being born was was not me just creating something because the son was the second in the Godhead. Yes. So God was very intentional. Okay. The lamb was slain from the before the foundation. Mm -hmm. So everything God uh, 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 has got you on is very intentional. He already knows. Now I got to share this because we're living in a very dark time, Lady T. Mm -hmm. Now what I mean by darkness is the fact that the doctrines have entered into. The, 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 the halls of believers and start convincing them that there's no difference. There's no difference. But I'm telling you tonight and distinctly saying there is a difference. And for you to live and see the supernatural move of God, you're going to have to determine the difference. Your eyes have to come open. <laughs> and tonight we want to share. So I want to go back to the first verse in this ninth chapter. The first verse in this ninth chapter. I just read you the sixth mm -hmm. verse. But I want to go back and uh, show you something in this uh, first 
a verse of this Isaiah. This is such a beautiful thing. And I don't know how far I'm going to get, Lady T, because time flies when you're having this much fun in the word of the Lord. And when it's time to unpack revelation, time mm -hmm, flies. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you this because this is beautiful. Now, this is the first verse of Isaiah 9. I okay. just read you 6 and 7. Uh -huh. But watch this. Please hear this. And, 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 and let this sink deep into your hearing. I'm reading, I'm reading from the authorized King James Version. I always go there uh, because that's the, this is the uh, uh, one that everybody reads most. So, so I want to I read this into you here. Now, it says, Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. Right. Now, I know it's hard. Now, listen. What? Now, I, I want to read this, and then I'm going to come back and unpack it into your hearing. It says, Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulon and the land of Nephetha, uh, 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 and afterwards did more grievously affect her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, in Galilee of the nations. Mm -hmm. Now, now that sounds like uh, uh, just just some some weird. Now, now I got to set some context because at this particular junction in the history of Israel, they had fallen into what we are actually living today. Mm -hmm. They had go, here's what it, here's how here's how the, the, the Bible said they had gone after other gods. Mm -hmm. They had attached themselves to other. Now, a God, now please, when I'm talking G-O-D, small, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. G-O-D, God, when you think about it, is not uh, something that brings tragedy, it's to bring peace, tranquility, all of that. Yeah. So, what God is upset with about his people is, you're going to other sources mm. to bring you peace. My God, come on. Because you were told there was no difference. It's happening today. It's happening today. We are going after other things to bring peace or, or prosperity. When the scripture clearly says of his government, his thoughts, his ideals and operations, there is no end. There are only, only advancement there. But the people of God, when they are taught through doctrines, will actually attach to other things and, and replace God with the other things. Wow. And he's saying, oh, no, no, wait, wait a minute. Help wait a us, minute, help us. So this is the posture of Israel, the blessed people of God, hmm. the people that were called by his name, the people that he said, if you uh, uh, would do these things, hear my voice indeed and keep my covenant, uh -huh. You will become a peculiar treasure unto me, a nation of king priests. He's talking to the very people. Please hear me now because I need you to understand this. God's intended for your life to be abundantly supplied. Yes, sir. But you got to understand that there is a part I have to play. Amen. Number one, I got to distinguish between the kingdom of heaven uh -huh. and the kingdoms of this world. Both of them will give you some goods. Mm. Watch this. Many are living in limbo, lady. Living in limbo. When the Lord has deemed this your time of grace to transition, if you will, or shift into your wealthy place, all of the opposing forces, the adversary, get the memo that it's time for her to move into a wealthy place. So what do they do? By the authority of God, I'm dropping some revelation. Come on, they Pastor. take their hands off you. Mm. So what happens, watch this, people have never thought of this. What happens, the system of the world has a welfare system where it takes care of all. When you are at the time of grace to come into what God in purpose have deemed you, uh, created you for, the systems of the world have to let you go. So when they let you go, then the financing of that world ends as well. Yes. What happens, you get in limbo because you won't fully embrace the systems of God. So now the welfare of heaven don't engage fully in your life because you are still indecisive about whether you're going to live in the old and the new. So now things are becoming very spare in your life because you won't embrace where you're going. Mm. 
you have never embraced where you're going. Can't let go where you are. Can't let go where you are. So where we got been. to know that there's a difference. So I got to let go. Repentance metanoia is to think again. It's actually saying to turn from, uh -huh. but to turn to. Come on. Many are turning from, but don't know what to turn to. My so we Lord. got to make these differences because many return to because they don't think it's a difference. Mm. So this is what the Lord said. You got to know that there is a difference. I'm, the posture of Israel, in, uh, when God prophesied unto us, a child is born, a son is given. Mm -hmm. This was a plan of God the whole time for us to understand that he's got us on his mind. We've been in trouble, but he want to redeem us from the trouble. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying today. I'm ready to redeem. I got all of the things in place to redeem. But... You got to agree with it. And so you cannot even start the process of agreement until you understand that there is a need to make a difference between the system of the world and the system of God. My God. There is. Uh, uh, I just mentioned Daniel chapter 10. This is a side note. You've got to hear this. Daniel chapter 10. It says in the, in the third year of Darius, king mm -hmm. of Persia, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 10th verse says... Uh, when Daniel had prayed for an answer in assessor for three weeks, he says, then an angel shows up and said, I heard, or your prayers were heard from the very first the day, very right? first day. I was, I was resisted by the prince of Pers Persia. In other words, there was a king physical that ruled secularly here, but then there is a ruler of the spirit in the same location. Mm. You got to understand the difference in the two. My God. To make the decision, a, a, a real decision, you got to understand, I know this is heavy, but this has to be taught because many are still saying uh, or, or being taught that it doesn't matter. It's just good things. No, we're looking not for good things. We're looking for God things. We're looking for supernatural things to happen in our life. So now, at the first verse of this day chapter of Isaiah, Israel is in the position of the world today. They have been caught up. They are. They they have been told that you are the apple of God's eye. God want to bless you. But now they are. They are. As the Lord says, you're going after other gods hmm. because. Now, everybody that was going after wasn't evil. It was just that they were taught it was okay to go after. Mm. Now they're in trouble with Jehovah because you're going after other gods. It's My happening God. more often than not. So yes. now, let me, with that context and with that I, that thought to understand it, let's read it again. Mm -hmm. The ninth verse, the ninth chapter, verse one. It says, nevertheless, the, the dimness, because we're talking about eye openness, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. Now, if you read that, just looking at it at face value or just looking, it says the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. In other words, it sounds like she was vexed mm -hmm. and now her eyes are dim. Mm -hmm. But no, what the text is actually saying, Lady T, is this, that she was vexing God. Hmm. Her dimness shall not be such as it was when she was really getting on God's nerve with her acts of going after other gods. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. He's showing mercy here, right? It says, when at the first he highly afflicted her, he highly afflicted the land of Zebulon and the land of Nephetini afterwards did more grievous afflict, afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nation. Now listen to that. Listen to that. Listen to that. Listen first to that. he lightly. He lightly. Mm -hmm. now, now, now listen to that, Lady T. Now we're talking about the advent of, of our Savior. That's a Savior. Mm -hmm. That that the, the night, night chapter 6 uh, verse 7. Unto us child is born, son is given. So mm -hmm. this is a picture of Savior. Right? Now, God is saying in the first verse, the reason why I'm sending this Savior is because you were in trouble and I had a problem with you. Mm. Right? Okay. You really vexed me. Mm. But I'm preparing to bless you, even though you vexed me. Mm -hmm. And watch what he says. He says, he says, he says, I'm going to give a geographical location. When at first he lightly afflicted the land of what? Zebulon. Now, now watch this. When the kingdom of heaven was split because of the apostasy of Solomon. Mm -hmm. You remember the story? Yes. So it was split. Ten northern nations, two southern nations of Judah. Now, it says in the northern, right? Right? And it says afflicted the land of, of Nep Nepal T and uh, Zebulon, which was more gr grievous. It, the enemy would always in scripture come from the north. Okay. So what it's saying, the land of uh, 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 Zebulon is in the north. Okay. So they were attacked first. Mm -hmm. So the people that were attacked first is now about to see the first intervention of God mm. in this season. All right. Are y'all following me now? This is going to be crucial now. I need you to know that God is on his way. Mm. You've been afflicted. 
Now, 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 watch this. He says, I understand what you've done. I understand you went after. I understand you tried to replace me. I know you were taught to do so. You didn't know. But now I'm coming because I'm sending the Savior. Now, our eyes are coming open because the Savior has been sent. He's not going to sin. He's, we say, over 2,000 years ago. So we should be living in a freedom that we have not been free to. Because our doctrines won't allow. Because we don't know that, that there is a need to make a distinction between worldly living and godly living. It's not the same. There are two different things that are going on here. Now, I need to read the second verse. So, 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 oh, all right, let's see, let me go back. So, and afterwards did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. Now, uh -huh. here's how powerful the scripture is. Okay. Because as many think that the scripture comes sometimes conflict itself. It's only conflicted by the interpretation of the scripture or the interpreters of the scripture. Mm -hmm. it, what is said in prophetic word, Jesus says this very clearly. All of the prophets prophesied about me. Mm -hmm. And so what Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah is saying ha actually came to pass. So now how do we validate this fact that this is true? We go to Matthew chapter four real quick, verse number two. Uh, 12, Matthew 4, verse number 12. Lady T, this is so much information. <laughs> Matthew 4, verse number 12. Listen to what it says. Now, when Jesus had heard that John cast, was cast into prison, he departed into where? Galilee. 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 Now, can you go back to Isaiah 9 and 1? Mm -hmm. Now, look at that. Look at that. He departed into Galilee. I'm reading uh, Matthew 4. Uh, verse 12 he departed into where Galilee mm -hmm. now what does this say right here and and did uh, more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea uh, beyond Jordan in uh, Galilee of the nations. now when John was thrown in prison this was a sign he's about to be beheaded mm -hmm. what does that mean that when the forerunner is off the scene it's time for the runner to come on so now when John is, is, is in trouble and about to die, Jesus knows it's my time. So where does he land? He land in where? Galilee. Now watch the 13th verse of, the, of, of, of Matthew 4. It says, and leaving Nazareth, he came to dwell in Capernaum, which is upon the seacoast in the borders of Zebulon and Nephilim. So this is prophetic and he's actually operated. Why am I reading this? Because I need you to see that this time is a time of the prophetic for those that can distinguish between the kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of our Lord, which is latent with increase. Increase in this ninth chapter of Isaiah is actually teaching on the advent of that savior. Wow. Now listen to what the 15th verse says. Or the 14th verse said that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah or Isaiah the prophet saying the land of Zebulon and the land of Nephilim by the way of the sea beyond Jordan uh, 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 Galilee of the Gentiles the people which sat in darkness mm -hmm. like this, saw the great light and them which set in the region and shadow of death. So he calls the time that we are living in is the time of the shadow of death. Mm. What are we living in right now? The time of death raging in our land. Mm. Please hear me, whether it's by COVID, whether it's by killings, whether it's by whatever horrific event, we are seeing it happen. So what God has said, I have sent a savior for the situation that is at hand. Wow. And I'm meticulously specifically sending what I need the people eyes to be open so that they can understand what I'm doing and agree with it. Hmm. Shadows of death, light is sprung up. Now the 17th verse and the final verse. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent for the kingdom of heaven. That is again, mm -hmm. of his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven at hand. So he's saying there is a difference. There's been some preaching, but now let me preach what I came to preach is the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And from the death of John, he says, repent, repent wow. for the kingdom is at hand. Now, what does that mean? Repent means a Greek word, metanoi, to turn from to turn to. In other words, we have been taught through the doctrines that only repentance definition is going to the altar and cry. Well, you can go to the altar and cry and never change anything. Mm. But what he's saying is, I'm trying to show you a kingdom and it won't happen until you repent. As he tells uh, Nicodemus, he says, you must 
a repent. Mm -hmm. What's that mean? That means it's constructed to see again from heaven's point of view. Wow. Because there's something that he's trying to show and we're not seeing it. We're not seeing it. We're not seeing it. So now he's talking to a people that have gone after other gods presently that I'm coming for you, but you're going to have to agree with it. You're going to have to agree with it. And the first step to agreeing is that you understand there's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between there's a difference between what you are saying is kingdom, which is actually the kingdom of this world, and the kingdom of our Lord, which has increased, which has increased. Now, I want to read the second verse. Second verse of Isaiah 9. Are we there? Mm -hmm. it says, read that. Read that what the second verse says. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Yes. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. Now look at what he's saying. He's prophesying to us. We're in the, the land of the shadow of death. We got it all around us. But he says there's a savior. But it does not happen. The advent of Christ happened physically 2,000 years ago. But the advent of Christ is going to have to happen in our life because we're going to have to accept it. That there's a difference. We're in a land of death. Hmm. But God want to implement the kingdom life for those that eyes will come open. Our eyes have been dead. Now, I'm going to read that same verse, uh, the second verse of, of Isaiah chapter 9. In the, uh, let's read it out of the Amplified Bible. It says, the people who walk in spiritual darkness will see a great light. Hmm. Those who live in the dark land, the light will shine up on them. Now, I got to make some, I got to, I got to. This is important. So we are living in spiritual darkness. Mm -hmm. We don't know the difference between the kingdom of the world, the deceptive world, which is laden with good things, and the kingdom of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Because the doctors tells us that it's no different. You know, it ain't no different, man. It's whatever, whatever is whatever. That's not true. Now this is under. This got to be understood. I'm gonna unpack this, and I gotta go because this is oh, it's so much here. So the, the uh, uh, Isaiah nine verse two says. The people who walk in spiritual darkness. Now, it, it just made a, 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 a definitive statement. The darkness is spiritual. We're not seeing from heaven. So we can be deceived by the devil and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. This is not something that you can just uh, uh, make a difference. It's got to be discerned. The people who walk in spiritual darkness will see a great light. The Lord says, I'm given the opportunity to see again while you've been walking in darkness. Hmm. Hear me now. This darkness here in the Amplified, this is in the Amplified. This darkness here in this Amplified uh, interpretation is like the, it, it's the Hebrew, it's considered the Hebrew perfect tense as have seen. Hmm. Have, have seen. In other words, darkness was all you've seen. That's all that has covered your life is darkness. And you, you, you've been in a spiritual place that caused you to be void of understanding as it relates to God's prophetic future concerning your life. Hmm. Somebody need to hear that. So in, in the Hebrew perfect tense, it means that all that we've seen, the way it's constructed, is I lived in darkness. Mm -hmm. But the scripture just said that there will be an advent of a Christ that's going to bring the light to your area mm -hmm. if you will accept. But you got to understand there's a difference between his kingdom and the kingdom of this world or the kingdom of darkness. What this suggests, please hear me, what this suggests is that your past was dark. Hear me now, prophesying. But God says... That season is completed. That's what it means in the Hebrew perfect tense. It was the past, and now it looks, God sees it as completed. Hmm. This is the season that the darkness should be completed or, or, con, or, 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 or discontinued. All right. To those that are walking in darkness, to those that will walk and embrace what God is saying in this season. Matthew chapter 6 will add more weight to this darkness. Now, this suggests that there are people that are walking in spiritual darkness. Not just, not just nighttime, but spiritual darkness. Mm. Now, when you're walking in spiritual darkness, even your daytime becomes your nighttime. Gross. <laughs> Nothing that you see perceive will look good to you because you are caught up in a system that cannot supply anything other than doom gloom and darkness my god so matthew chapter 6 verse number 22 please hear me it says this it says the eye is the lamp of the body mm -hmm. now this is making an illustration the eye is the lamp of the body not the natural eyes but what it's saying the spiritual sight that you have mm -hmm. the eye is the lamp of the body so if your eye is clear 
spiritual perception. If your eyes clear, your spiritual perception, your whole body will be full of light, mm. benefiting from God's benefits or precepts. If my eye is open, mm -hmm. please hear me now. But if your eye is bad, spiritual blind, if your eyes are bad, spiritual blind, your whole body will be full of darkness, devoid of God's precept. Now, hear this. So if the very light inside you, your inner self, your heart, your conscience is darkness, how great and terrible is your darkness? Whew. If your perception has become dark because of what you've been taught in doctrine, then you don't have no light. Everything the light sends you, you turn it into darkness. Gross darkness. Gross darkness. So if you have been seduced, here's what this is saying. If you have been seduced by the spirit of deception, disguising himself, as an angel of light giving good hear me now alternatives to what god has sanctioned in his holy scripture that's what we're saying god has sanctioned something in his word in the scripture but the spirit of deception the kingdom the god of this world will come in and say oh i know how to do that mm -hmm. and so now we are deceived because we don't know how to distinguish between the two but god says i'm opening your eyes in this season so he comes, the deceiver comes, and gives us good alternative to what God has sanctioned in his Holy Spirit scripture. We are victims. You are a victim of this darkness, no matter how enlightened you consider yourself. Hmm. There are many people that are victim of darkness, and they consider themselves in light. Why? Because their darkness has become their light. Hmm. And they say, I'm enlightened. But we're enlightened in the things of the devil. Because he's convinced us that it don't matter. If you say you want that, I can get it to you. I can get it for you. Don't even worry about it. Now, I need to drop one sticky subject, and I'm going to be out there here, Lady T. I'm going to drop one sticky subject. And, and, and this might cause a lot of controversy, and a lot of people don't like me, but it's at the forefront of all of the things. This is one sticky subject, because this is one of the ways that the enemy, watch this, watch this. Now, this is going to be very important. Here's a sticky subject. <sighs> Uh, this thing called uh, Leite, Leite, saging to get rid of evil spirits. The, the enemy is busy right now. Saging to, to cast out evil spirits out of your house. When God's words say in James 2.19. Watch this. Now, this is two different worlds. There's one. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Here's, here's, here's an alternative route. You go save, and uh, this will get rid of evil spirits out of your house. Now, James chapter 2, verse 19 says, Thou believest that there is one God? Hmm. Watch what it says. Thou doest well. Now, yes. it's making an emphatic statement right here. The devils are, the devils also believe. The devil also believe and tremble. In other words... If there's a spirit of the devil, you got to cast them out only by one source. By one source. By one source. By one source. Here's what Philippians 2.10 says. That at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under earth. In other words, at the name of Jesus. He's given him a name That's it. that is above all other names. Yeah. So, so, so the enemy has caused us again because we don't know the difference in the kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Most people in church don't know this. They are teaching and have no idea. They are running old traditional lives and the enemy is clapping his hand like, yep, yep. That's exactly what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. So now, the Colossians uh, chapter 1 verse 16 says, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, or power. All things were created by him and for him. In other words, if there is an evil spirit in my house, I already have or supposed to uh, know that I already have the power. Come on. And, 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 and there's power in the name of of Jesus. I don't need sage. I don't need any other. But the enemy has caused us to go into other alternative route. Now, now, the the reason I was led to go there, the reason why I was led to go there, Lady T, is because of the deception that is running rampant in our land. We don't know the difference. There are people that the enemy right now is driving, and what he does, it's not his intent to break your heart, mm. baby. To make you sad. It's his intent to rob you of your soul. So mm. he lets you ride. Because you keep agreeing with him. 
Now watch this. I had to go there because this is running rampant. The people doing this are good people. Yes. They're not bad people. They have good intent. Yes. They don't have evil intent when they do this. Yeah. They just been taught that it's okay because it don't matter. I, I can walk out on my ordination and say, you know what God understands? What is that in scripture? Hmm. So what the enemy does, watch this. When we go, when we go to alternative route, he would allow good things to happen. Mm. You know why? He wants me to build the ultimate trust in that. Mm -hmm. Because one day he's coming for what you allow him to build. Because he owns it. Mm. <laughs> he owns it. Because when people see results I, I, when using worldly things, the enemy is saying, okay, okay, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You got that peace and tranquility from that? He said, keep it going. But what really happened is the enemy is deceptively allowing you to move in that experience and he's giving you temporary reprieve rest assured that he's coming why because he don't like you because he don't like god my god and he never will like you because he gets kicked out of heaven for trying to be like god and god says let me give it to you freely my so he's goodness. a hater that is going to hate so this is the time of deception please hear me our eyes are becoming open now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're opening now they're opening now and the Lord wants us to know the difference between the kingdoms of this world, which got some good stuff, mm -hmm. but it's only temporary. The enemy will let it ride until you get to the place where you think you're about to lay your hand on promise. And that's when he comes and snatches. He said, oh, you will never get that. And now we're trying to figure out what happened. I thought I was following God. No, you were following deception and this happening. Mm. So now here's what the Lord is saying. He says, I'm breaking the grace is coming to break the power of darkness. We're going to see clearly. This season is a season of seeing clearly. We're going to see clearly. We're going to see clearly. Ephesians 2, verse 2. And I'm going to read that and I'm out of here. Ephesians 2, verse number 2. Ephesians 2, verse number 2. It says, Where, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. In other words, the kingdom of this world and the deception and the goodies of it, the enticement of it, had you caught up. Watch this, kingdom world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Watch the third verse says, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, mm. in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. In other words, if you are serving a God that don't have no disciplinary uh, actions on your life or don't have no requirements on your life, and if your prayer life is the one that is such that you don't ask God what he wants, you just tell him what he needs to finance, mm. you probably need to scrutinize the relationship. We have been taught, all the thing I go to pray is tell God what I got, uh, 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 this is an idea, I need financing. We don't even ask him, Lord, is this what you want or do you want me to switch it up right now? If you have not that relationship with your God, you probably need to scrutinize what you call in your God. My goodness. Now please hear me. But the fourth verse says, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherein he loved us, watch the fifth verse said, even when we were dead in our sin, has quickened us together with Christ by grace, ye are saved, and has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. There again, there it is. So now we're in the season that, our, that is the advent of our Savior. He says, this is a season that your eyes are coming open. Lady T, everybody that get their eye open and experience is not going to open their eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Because the deception of this world that we don't know how to distinguish the, the two, uh, between the two, is going to be so, this is a season of temptation. It's supposed to distinguish the priorities of our life. Mm -hmm. But, but there are many that the doctrines have been told, I can work the world system and also live in kingdom. They don't mix. You will make a definite, again, I'm going to end with this because this is where it is. Many of you right now, when God says it's the season of grace for you to walk into your next level, the, 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 the systems of this world automatically know that it's over. So they have to take their hands off you because of grace. Mm -hmm. So now the financing of the welfare of that secular system or the enemy system now knows it can't touch you okay. because grace has covered you. My God. But if you don't fully embrace the next move into the kingdom, which has his system of financing, you won't take advantage of that either. 
because it requires the full embrace of it. So now you're living in limbo. You're not financed by a world system because of the grace that's on you, and you're not financed by kingdom because you won't embrace it. So now we live in limbo. And that's the season that God is, is making aware of. That's what he wants us to see when he says, it's time for the eyes of people to come over. You're going to have to make a decision. That's right. Whether I'm going to continue to live here mm. in this state where it's whatever and whenever, God, you know. Man, I, I, the enemy, how did he do this? He did it very slowly. He, he, he crept in. That's why David said, if the foundation is lost, where do the righteous stand? Mm. We now will see all kind of things said about God. And we will see the replacement because God's problem with Israel in Isaiah 9 is they had gone after others, smaller G-O-Ds. Mm. G-O-Ds. They had gone after things that were alternatives to his providing peace, prosperity, and, and protection. And that's what we're seeing. But he says, today is the day that if you hear my voice mm. and harden not your heart, you can turn now and I will do for you in a quick time a quickness, what I promise you. There's no option to come into purpose other than the route that God has already provided. My God, my God, my God. I need to pray tonight. Thank you, Lord. Because this is the time of God's people coming into their wealthy place. You know, I have so much, uh, 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 you, you know, I can go through scripture and give you all of these good uh, uh, words about whatever but i i i know that this is the season that uh, this is uh, listen to me I'm, I'm gonna be fair mm -hmm. uh, uh this word might not have been for everybody okay i get it mm -hmm. now god wants it to be for everybody yes but everybody this is a choice you got to make a you god told me a, what it was three four weeks ago that i'm about to bless my people when their obedience is bigger than what inconveniences them we are uh, people that inconvenient. Every, I ain't, uh, I'm, 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 that's just too inconvenient for me. I think Calvary's cross was an inconvenience to okay. the second in the Godhead. Yes, come on. Uh, he was already in power, but he says, let me, let me do this because mm. I need them to be able to stand. Mm. And so we are in a season that we got to hear the voice of God and make a uh, definitive decision. This is a time that dreams are going to come uh, uh, true for those that are living that says, Lord, whatever you desire mm -hmm. is bigger than what I want. Yes. What you desire, it's going to be purpose over preference. Mm. I prefer this, my flesh, in other words, my flesh prefer this, but your purpose says here, 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 mm -hmm. here. And there are people tonight that's going to make that choice it's very easy to make that choice because the scripture said that he's already uh, uh, set it aside or set it on a platter that if i desire to have it he says here here i want you to have it this is this this kingdom life god wants us to have it god desires for me to be blessed more than i can even desire to be more. blessed. i don't even know how to desire to be blessed at the level of god's desire for me to be blessed mm. so tonight we pray with you yes god. and many are going to pray, pray the prayer of repentance it's easy I'm not saying you're a bad person because you got caught up. Because it's easy for anybody. Because it looks so real. Mm -hmm. Things are going so good. Mm. Why mess up a good thing? Mm. Mm. Well, mm. we're not going after good things. We're going after God things. God things. God because things. That's where purpose actually lies. Father, thank you so much thank tonight you, for this word of revelation to your people that have heard it on tonight. I thank you so much for you invading our life again, invading our space, because we open up the door. Yes, Lord, God. you're standing at the door and knocking. If any man would hear and open, you will come in and sup with them. Your scripture said you will come and sup. In other words, commune. And at the table of communion is the table that revelation is revealed. I see again what my eyes become open you, to Jesus. what you are desiring for me to yes, know. Yes. So, Lord, we open up the door because we've heard your voice. Come in and sup with us. And, and Lord, I know that this is a time of tugging on the lives of me. I thank you for this season of transition. Mm -hmm. The season of transition. The season of transition in the life of your people, Lord. I give them the power to make yes. decisions. Lord, let them know that 
that this is the time that they got to make the distinction decision of living good life of the world and the kingdom life My that God. comes thank with you, priorities Jesus. yes and discipline yes lord i thank you for it. it is happening now it is happening forgive us forgive us pray it with us forgive Give me lord. for my sins forgive yes, me forgive right me now. for my sins are many forgive me any Forgive me. I thank you. I make you Lord mm, of Lord my, of my life. life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, now listen to me very closely because I got to make distinguishing, very distinct points. Uh, uh, Paul and Peter says, Blessed be the God and, and Father of our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, we have to understand something that Savior is a gift from God. Salvation is a gift. Mm -hmm. We didn't do the work for salvation. He did that. He predetermined that he wanted to say the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world, right? Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. It says Lord and Savior. Now, Lordship is different from Savior. Mm -hmm. He'll save your soul as a gift, but you have to make a decision that he's going to be your Lord. People don't hear that. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Lord means that he dictates my action mm -hmm. through, through influence. He'll give me. I don't want you to go there. You have to make a decision. I'm not going there. He'll give you. I don't want you saying that. You cannot, if you under the, the intoxication of what's been taught in the doctrines, you will say it doesn't matter. I can do whatever. When whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. Hmm. That's not living by faith. Come on. F-A-I-T. That's living by faith. F-A-T-E. The scripture does not tell the people of God to live by faith. Mm -mm. It says we live by faith. Yes. In other words, there's an instruction that will be given and we got to live. I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. It's time we can't play with God any longer. This is a crucial time. We're not dealing with man, we're dealing with God. You can't play. You can't play this. It's time to repent. Hmm. I sound old school though. It's time to repent. It's time for us to see the blessings of the Lord in this season of our lives. And we have to hear that God requires a difference in our life. Most definitely. Too many times we've heard this stuff and we are living in the land of death. Hmm. This text declares that this land is a land of death. And the enemy is trying to kill us, all of us. And now it's time to make a a, a, a definite decision that, Lord, it's been, I, I listened to it, I, all of us here. I listened to the doctors that said, you know, it's okay, whatever is whatever. It's just good with God because of grace. That's not in scripture. Not at all. That's a doctrine. That's not in scripture. Now, the Bible says all scripture is yes. given by, by God. inspiration. Yeah. And it's Profitable. profitable for doctrine. Yes. In other words, if you want to build a doctrine, please do it out in the scripture. But much, much of the doctrines don't even go with the scripture. Like it's come from old saying. Mm -mm. Old saying. Old things that have been said, that have been handed down. That's why we see limited manifestation because God is only obligated to words of truth. Yes. Not just words of uh, that man cliches. powerful. He said yeah. that he's not into cliche. Mm -hmm. That's just somebody that you like saying something that you like. That's not what God said. God says, I need you to hear the word of truth and yes. make a decision. Definitely. If your prayers have been, if you haven't prayed this prayer lately, pray it tonight. Lord, what do you want? Mm -hmm. I know what I want, Thank but you, what do you want what out of my life? What do you want, God? And whatever God answers, you go after it. Yes, you yes. You go after it. Because when you go after that, God says, I will finance what I put in you. Yes. Wherever God guides, he provides. he provides. But if you're going after what you're going after, you're going to have to pay for it. It's going to be very expensive. Mm. But, Teresa, Lady, this is so important. God will find us. Y'all need to go listen to yesterday's message Amen. about Solomon. Because yes. his heart of God. All of the wealth of Solomon is not documentation of his business acumen. Mm -mm. It's documentation of gifts. Yes. Because of his heart of obedience. It's obedience. One gift, one gift from the Queen of Sheba was $63 million. Can you imagine because of obedience you get a gift of $63 million? Thank you, Jesus. And his annual intake from people sowing gifts was $20 million a year. Obedience. Now they still haven't mentioned how wise and how many counseling sections. It don't even mention that. It just mentioned the gifts that come from God. 
And that's what God is saying in this season, in this new era. For those, this is why I am so adamant about you aligning yourself with truth, not the cliche. Mm. Because God wants to do what you've been praying for, but he won't do it until you align yourself with him. No matter what it takes, you got to be determined. I'm going after God. I'm not going after, this is not religion. I'm not going after religion. I'm not, not talking all. about that not at, at all. all. Not at I'm all. I'm not talking about that at all. Mm -mm. I'm talking about going after God. Mm. Going after his instruction. Yes. His way. That might be totally different than what you've ever experienced. But you've got to be faithful to go after that. you got to go after God. Mm. you got to go after God. No more will we be caught. Too many people that are people of purpose are not going after the purpose that God said. Because they've been taught. They mm. got relaxed in this season. Mm. And this season, what the word says, this season is the season that the, 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 the it's two things coming after was in the season. Mm -hmm. It's the purpose of God that leads us into prosperity mm -hmm. or it's the purpose of the enemy that causes us to be plundered. My God. That's the season that we're in, in this season. Hey man, I'm thankful for mm -hmm. this word. On oh, tonight, you had something lately, you were going somewhere. I was just wanting to, I was trying to find when, even when David was ready to build the temple. Yes. When he was ready and he couldn't, he yeah. couldn't. Yeah. And then God chose Solomon. Yes. He chose him yes. and he said that he would make him, he would make him yes. the king and he would give him, make him rich. Yes. He would make him famous yes. as long as his heart remained pure, pure. and he was obedient. Yes. Uh, 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 Chronicle. Second, yeah. First. Second, second Samuel. Okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. That's not one of them. And first Chronicles. I believe at 13, 14. Yeah, 13. something like, yeah. So, 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 so we are here tonight. This is an announcement to those that have been struggling. God is ready to connect in this season. Grab a hold again, grab a hold again to what God has promised you. Don't say, I tried and I was disappointed and I just had to give up on it. I can't. That's what the enemy desires to hear hmm. out of your mouth. You are a victim of your vocabulary. There's too many believers. I'm a believer, but I've never seen so many skeptics that call themselves believers. Skeptic about everything. Well, let's see. Well, I don't know. Well, you cannot live what God is trying to give with that level of talking. It just doesn't happen. I'm done. I'm done. Is that something else I need to That's it. Are we done? Thank you so much for hearing. For those of you, here it is. If you want to sow into, there it is right there. You know that you'll be blessed when you sow. So we are thankful today. Go to our website, Network of Believers. See it right there, networkofbelievers.com. you find out everything that we're doing. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so 6 a.m., Lady T will get you started with affirmations, and then 12 noon, there's a word. We're going to continue to bring it to you. If you go back and listen to the last three weeks, this has been a puzzle. <laughs> God been putting this puzzle together, puzzle together, puzzle together. There's pieces of puzzles that God is putting together. We are almost completed. Hmm. We're almost there. We're almost there. But you have to hear the word of God to be actually uh, uh, validated inside what God wants and what he has in our. Thankful, 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 thankful. And thank all of you for uh, tuning in. Who we had in the house? We got uh, Stanley Austin. See, blessings, man. Blessings to you, Stanley. That's a homeboy of mine. Jessica J. Green. Jessica, blessings. Ivan Lambert. Hey, Minister Ivan Lambert. Blessings, man. Apostle Latasha Anderson. Apostle Latasha Anderson. Blessings. Hulanda. Denise. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Pastor David Boyd. Pastor David and Tanya Boyd. Blessings. Reggie McCoy. Blessings. Christine McCoy Morton. Christine McCoy Morton. Blessings. Christine. Out of Whitmo. Hey, mom. Blessings. Mm -hmm. Who else is in the house? Who else? Uh, Pastor Marissa. Pastor Marissa is in the house. My brother's in the house. Antoine Stigger. Austin. Elder Gwen White Anderson. Blessings. Elder Gwen White Anderson. Blessings. I love you, my sister. Yes. Rhonda Hall Taylor. That's my cousin. Rhonda Royal. Rhonda Royal. Blessings. Yes. Darnisha. Blessings. Yes. Jason Long. Blessings, Jason. Sylvia Wilson. Sylvia Wilson. Johnny in. Harris. Yes. Yes, blessings to all of you. Uh, Sandra Thornton Brown, blessings. Ashley Ash Evans. Blessings. Susie Marshall, blessing. Linwood Anderson, blessings, blessings. Delia, blessings. Did you say Hill, Reggie blessings. McCoy? Yeah, Reggie McCoy, blessings. Mm -hmm. Demichi, Pastor Tanya, Pastor boy. Tanya Bass, Demichi Bass, blessings. And Natasha Brown, blessings. Katrina Robinson. Katrina, blessings, blessings, blessings. Tashayla Go Million, blessings. Yes, blessings. Connie Pharrell. 
Yes, 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 yes. All right. Mary Holloway Hall. Mary Love Holloway you. Hall. Blessings. Love you. We like to speak blessings on everybody. I always want you to understand that God want to bless is the greatest desire. And many of you that are listening to you about to be pulled up out of something that's mm. been here. You've yes. been oppressed yes. by something yes. for years. I don't I don't care what it's sicknesses. I don't care what it is. Oppression from depression. There, I'm prophesying. You are being put. That that load is going to be lifted off. Watch this. If you can believe God by faith, and we're agreeing with you, that load is going to be lifted off of you. Watch. You're going to live. You. <laughs> it's going to be so light because weights are going to fall off. We got to believe God again. That is God's desire for me to live like this. Yes. He wants me. The weights need to be. Uh, you got to agree that God wants this. Mm -hmm. Your value is not in being a punching bag for nobody. Your value is in you see. Watch it be lifted, Lord. Yep, the light, the light, the light is shining. The light is shining. The knowledge, the information, yes. the revelation, it's shining so that we can know a specific, yes. specifically what God is calling for us to do so that we can walk into this wealthy place. <laughs> it, the light, illumination, it is shining right now. It is shining so that we will be able to grasp, yes. to grasp. Yes. And, and they see the difficulty is, is in that I won't make a decision. Mm. That's the difficulty. The difficulty is ahead is because you won't make a decision. Because when I make a decision, yes. God gives me the grace to stand. Honors it. When I yes. embrace it, God will grace it. If you live in still difficulties, because you haven't really made the decision. Limbo. You've been in limbo. <laughs> You've been in limbo. The healing of God is coming. Hear me. Mm. The healing of God is coming. I need y'all to hear me. I believe this, lady, that the healing of the Lord is coming to his people again. That's why everywhere I am, I want to pray. I want to pray in, in the parking lot because I know that the healing is available for people. And I don't care who they are. If they're suffering, the healing of God is coming. I believe like that again. Yes, sir. I know he's a supernatural Yes, sir. God. Don't ever think you ain't got no platform to preach. The yes. parking lot. The parking lot. Your lots, job everywhere. Let the world know. The world know. That's how you're going to walk in your abundant yeah, yeah. blessing. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Let's, let's close this thing out <laughs> so that we won't begin again. We always start with a prophecy. So, Lady T, I think it's proper that we end with one. To each of you, blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. See tomorrow morning, six blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings.